We have LeBron on our team too, you know. He is as locked in as he has ever been during the playoffs. He's better. I don't think he's getting better. He is. 34-9-7 in this postseason. 34-7-7 seven seven with 62% shooting in this series for LeBron James. And we just want to go back. He's 32 years old now. Let's go back to when he was 22. And I remember we were at the Palace of Auburn Hills that night. Remember when I saw you guys with your jaws on the floor? That's the best performance I've ever seen in person. 25 straight points, 29 out of 30. And that was in 13 minutes of play, the last three minutes of regulation and 10 minutes of double overtime. And now we move up into the, he's 27 years old. Here it is, game six at Boston, when he goes for 45 and 15. And then, 2016 in the half, win the NBA championship over the Golden State Warriors. And now he's 32 years old, putting up these numbers. When you look at that and to see the progression that he's made, and, and the way his game has has come at, you know, where he's taken his game, how do you compare that 22-year-old LeBron to the 32-year-old LeBron? Well, one is, it's different. Uh, you know, he's the ultimate competitor. He's been doing that since he's 18 years of, of age. I first saw him play, I think I was playing for the Lakers. A friend of mine took me to his game in high school, and I knew then that, you know, this kid was ready for the NBA. He's coming, he's staying out of trouble, he's playing the right way. Every year he's, you know, expanding his game. You know, a lot of people compare him to, to sometimes to Michael, sometimes to Magic. I think he's a combination of both. They don't really look at him for a score, but uh, soon, you know, he's about to pass up Michael Jordan for, you know, playoff score. And, then, you know, he's just one of the greatest players ever played the game. Definitely in my top five. How big a factor, when you, when you look at his career and what he's done in the postseason, is the roster he had around him. Think back to the first time he was here in Cleveland and it was Ogotskis and Larry Hughes and, and Booby Gibson. And and then in Miami, he's got Chris Bosh and D. Wade and for a time, Ray Allen. And now the group he's got here. How does that impact the way his performance has gone in the course of his postseason? Well, I think, you know, he, he's been able to take multiple teams and multiple people. It, it really doesn't matter uh, at some point. Uh, but he is strategic to make sure that he does, from that point on, from that first Cleveland team on, he's been strategic to make sure he aligned himself with the guys that he can play best with. He's been very strategic in that. But the best thing I think that's changed about his game is his outside shot. Because of the ability, his outside shot has allowed him to not be the post-up guy that he, he could be at times. Because now, you have to extend the defense. He always could handle the basketball at six foot nine. That made him special. But then you have to come out 